Good morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Monday, June 3rd, 2024. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. Mandatory minicamp begins this week, so we should get a little bit of clarity on a couple different situations. First, Brandon Ayuk. We know he skipped OTAs because he wants a new contract. Will he hold out and maybe put a little bit of pressure on the Niners? Or is he going to show up and hold in, maybe as a sign of good faith that hopefully things are moving? Steelers insider Ray Fittipaldo of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette continues to push this idea that either Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuel is going to be traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers before the season begins. If Ayuk holds out, you kind of feel like maybe that rumor has a little bit more credence. We'll find out. I am sure Brandon Ayuk is fully aware of the monster deal that Justin Jefferson just got from the Minnesota Vikings. Four years, $140 million. That's $35 million per year, including almost $89 million at signing. Jefferson is the highest paid non-quarterback in NFL history. Incredible deal. Now, Ayuk's not going to get that but I'm sure he is aware of that contract. The other situation we need clarity on is Christian McCaffrey. He also skipped OTAs. Some people said it was just because of the wedding. Some people, including Tim Kawakami, have wondered if McCaffrey wants more money in his deal guaranteed. He certainly earned it, of course. We all know that, but I would like to get a little bit of clarity with CMC. You would think he is going to be there we are going to hear from members of the 49ers this week. Maybe he'll be behind a microphone and we can just flat out ask him, hey, what's going on? Kyle Shanahan is also going to speak. So there'll be plenty of news coming out of 49ers headquarters this week. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed, one thing to read on this Monday. ESPN Analytics released their predictions for the 2024 season. Depending on your point of view, they are either really good or or really bad for the 49ers. If you want to find out why, click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, that would be 49ers general manager John Lynch. Why? Because now that we are post June 1st, the $18 million that the 49ers got from releasing Eric Armstead officially hits the cap. That leaves the team with around $25 million in cap room. Now, of course, they could roll that over to 2025, but there are some free agents that are still out there that could interest the 49ers. Say, for instance, safety Justin Simmons. Not saying, just saying, but maybe John Lynch has one more move up his sleeve before we get to training camp. One thing you may have missed. Remember when Willie Sneed said that the 49ers are afraid to let people compete for roster spots and he wants to go back to the AFC North? Well, Diamondor Lenore obviously heard that and responded on an Instagram live. He said, quote, I hope they bring him back so I can strap him up. He's just hurt right now. He's in his feelings. What did he say? I want to go back to the AFC North. Come on, man. You're not going to do that. They know how he is. They know how physical he is in practice. The more Diamondor Lenore speaks and plays, the more I like him. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell to get notified every single time we go live, which is every single weekday for you. I will be live with Vish Kumar in today. We're going to do it a little bit later than normal because Vish had some work stuff. So it's going to be 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. We will be live. We'll talk about the Justin Jefferson deal, how it relates to Brandon Ayuk, and what we expect at Mandatory Minicamp this week. Enjoy your Monday, everybody. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.